Hey, everybody, it's the coach. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be an intriguing matchup between the New Orleans Saints and the Oakland Raiders. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, it is a building that has seen it all through the many years of its existence as EA Sports welcomes you to Oakland, California. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the New Orleans Saints and the Oakland Raiders. Hi again, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at the Raiders here entering play. And losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the visiting Saints, they were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. in the air and the NFL season is in full swing and we're underway here in week four. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25 yard line. And here come the Saints for their opening drive. And their quarterback, well, everyone knows he's got height standing at 6'6". And what I'm looking for from him today, the things every quarterback is looking to do lead his team to a victory. Doesn't matter whether he's throwing it, running it, handing it off, however he has to do it, as well as exhibiting some leadership, that's what he's trying to accomplish. Space to maneuver at the 40. The 40! He's at the 30! 10! Touchdown, New Orleans! Alvin Kamara, his first touchdown on the year as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Wow, first play in the game, CD, 75 yards. These people, they haven't even filed in yet from the tailgate lots. Everyone talks about starting out fast. Everyone talks about getting explosive type plays. That was absolutely a thunderbolt. And on the defensive side, you spent all week scheming, all week preparing, and it seems like it goes right out the window. Lutz with the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. One of the shortest drives you'll ever see. One play, 75 yards, six points. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. This one taken from the seven. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. So here comes the Raider offense now onto the field. They'll be led out by their quarterback out of Fresno State. It's the pro bowler, Derek Carr. And the tendency for most of these guys is to want to match things right away because they have a lot of confidence in their talent, too. They just saw a big strike against their team, and you know they're thinking to themselves, I can get this back right now on one play. Well, if it's there, you take it, but otherwise, just go ahead and calm your team down, run the offense, get things going, and see how things settle in. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. Check the backer, check the backer. They can't block him. Let go. Look now at the defensive starters for the Saints. They were terrific last week in the win over Denver. Have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw. They ended up getting four sacks in the game, stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire time, made it difficult for him to step up and find receivers downfield. And that's what they told us this week, that pressure on the QB is key. Throwing his car on third down. 
That one complete to Hill. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. It's an eight-yard pickup, and it'll be fourth down. Well, it wasn't a big strike, but that completion put them in really great range. What do we have now, fourth and inches? Yeah, it's not more than a half a foot. You know what I would do here? You would always go for it. <laughs> I'm one of those guys. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Oh, here we go. Oh. Here's second and eight. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. The target that time, Michael Thomas. And that takes us from second to third down. A look there at how the Raiders will start defensively. They find themselves just a couple of spots outside of the top 10 defending the pass, number 12 in the league. So I'm prepping for this game. I kept asking myself the question, what's keeping this group from being top 10 in the league against the pass? And? Too many mistakes, especially little mistakes. And when those add up into big mistakes, big mistakes add up into points against you. That's complete to Meredith. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 14 yards is the pickup. First down, New Orleans. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Off the play fake. Herbert. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And the hole closes quickly there. He gets maybe a couple up to the 38. Now a man who began with the Raiders is Latavius Murray. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. And no one there to stop it. Hits at the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Yeah, let's find out who my play In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Give the sack to David Anyamata, the product of Nigeria by way of Canada. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. Now they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Now Carr. Now this will be caught. Tyrell Williams. And he's able to get up here to the 26. A good pick up there. 18 yards as they get closer for third down. To throw, it's Carr. And he hits his tight end, Ebron. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. That one good for 13 and a Raider first down. They brought in the heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play. But we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one. Wound up hitting him for a first down. On first and 10, here's Carr. And that is incomplete. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. On second down, it's Hill. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Play action, now it's Carr. 
And he connects with Ebron. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. And he's got this down to the 35. Give him 12 yards that time and an Oakland first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. No gain there on the completion. Second and 10. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and 10. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop it. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 13-yard line. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys, I think, have running back in their background. And power running here down to the six-yard line. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Throwing on second and three. Carr, and he rifles one incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. From the gun, it's Carr. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Chauncey Gardner-Johnson, only thing larger than his name, is wingspan as he knocks that one away. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. Dan Bailey now for the field goal try. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. Bailey's kick is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. They begin on the ground with Kamara. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. From the gun, Herbert. He's got his all-pro receiver, Michael Thomas. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Looking to throw on second down. Herbert, and this is Cook with a grab. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. A bit of an opening there on the first down run as they get this forward for about six yards. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Second and four. Looking left sideline, but it's incomplete. He couldn't get the hook up there that time with Thomas, and it's third and four. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And he gets it to the 32, good enough for a first down. Now it looks like we'll get a timeout as there's a Saints player down here on the field. We'll take a break and get a report from Oakland after this. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Backed 
to throw. Herbert toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Jared Cook, the tight end, was the target. And that'll bring up second down. Throwing again on second and 10. Herbert, and he's going to keep it here. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Operating from the gun, Herbert. Oh, he may have gotten lucky. Tried to dump it off underneath on the check down. Nearly picked instead it's incomplete. Yeah, good game catch the ball in the backfield a week ago, and they're going to try and involve him in that way in this game as well. But you can tell scouting has taken over. They're making it a little bit more difficult. Yeah, defensively, they told us, hey, we've got to take him out of the passing game, limit it to just short runs, because he can really impact this offense. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. So I just wonder... Are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone, get you six? The Oakland offense about ready to start this next drive. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. You put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. <laughs> bash. I don't know about that. Bashed it. <laughs> Super tough. 10-3 our score after one here on EA Sports. From the 35 on second down, Carr nowhere to escape and he goes down. The sack coming from defensive end Cameron Jordan. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Carr now to throw. And he's going to go down again. Alex Anzalone providing a little deja vu. Back-to-back -back sacks. And now they're staring at a fourth and long. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. And the punt team on now as this one's sent away. A good kick, 48 yards, four on the return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. The offense and Alvin Kamara heading back onto the field. First month of the season, those numbers pretty solid. Does he continue that? I think so, because when you come out of the gate this strong, that means that you have planned for it and you like the results that you're getting. So I wouldn't have any doubt that the head coach, offensive coordinator, actually called, in, <laughs> called him in and said, look, you're our guy, okay? We're going to continue to stick with this as long as we're winning games. You ready for the challenge? And then they presented it to the rest of the team. I think we'll see plenty of that as the season moves on. And I'm sure he said challenge accepted. A free five yards as the defense jumps. I know it's an anticipation game for them, but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. The ball gets bumped up. It's now second and four after the penalty. Gets it to Meredith complete. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. To throw on second down. Herbert. That'll be complete to Cook. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The passer, defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew that flag was coming out. And I always enjoy the conversation post because <laughs> officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. You ain't doing nothing today. Get it. 
to throw again. Herbert, his throw incomplete. The Saints on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and ten. Looking to throw. Herbert finding his safety valve here. That's complete. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. And this one looks good. It is good. Right down the pipe. And they will stretch their lead to 10 now at 13-3. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's two for two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. Derek Carr and the Raiders set for their next possession. And maybe he's starting to wave the white flag a little bit. He's playing pretty well, but the pressure, it's got to him. Has to find a way to step around it, step through it, or just handle it. Because as you mentioned, he's having a pretty good day overall. Just the hits keep coming and taking those sacks. That's not the way that they want to finish a ball game with their quarterback on the ground so much. Now he'd like to stay upright. When he's been upright, he's been pretty good. Looks like he's going to get a couple here on this first down carry, and that'll make it second and eight. Tackle is made by Cameron Jordan. Throwing on second and eight. Carr, and he's got him. Got his man on the end route. Complete. The Raiders on third down, two for five to this point. They're up against a third and one situation. Throwing now is Carr. He's going to fire one deep, middle, of, and this will be caught at the 30. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Well, forget the run on third and one. They shock the D and rip off a pretty big play. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well to get a few stops. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Now here's a whistle as flags come in. And we'll check out the call. So from second and 10, it'll now go to second and 15. So after the penalty, heading in the wrong direction, second and 15. On play action, now Carr. Well, this is caught by Williams. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. A first down there on a pickup of 25. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. They'll go with Hill here on first down. And he fights his way into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. As they are now just an extra point away from making this a three-point game. And as many coaches' meetings as we sit in, we hear the word finish all the time, don't we? And on that play, the back actually finished getting into the end zone, breaking the last tackle. Tried to wrap up, tried to use the proper technique, just wasn't able to get it done. Extra point up and good by Bailey. And the lead down to three at 13-10. That time a six-play drive. And it was finished off with a 10-yard touchdown scamper. This will be fielded at the eight. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. And our attention here turns to Latavius Murray. A good job in the passing game, decent job in the running game, but really they've been more effective uh, through the air. We'll see if that shifts at all as this goes on. Thus far, it feels like they're calling this game in reverse. Normally you run to set up the pass. Here it feels like they're passing, hoping to set up the run and be more effective later on in the game. Yeah, you can do it both ways. We usually talk about it in the reverse, however. No doubt about it. 
Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. Back to throw. Herbert. And his throw here is incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. On third down, Herbert. And the throw there going to be incomplete. And I feel like my man, Old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown their last drive. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline. The Raider offense set to get this drive started. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. That goes for a gain of 31. As we've seen over the years, offense coordinators will often ease their way into drives. Many of them don't want to risk a turnover or put their defense in a bad spot, but not in this case. Not at all. Forget about easing into it. They took a shot. It worked. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. And he'll give it here to his running back. Tackle there by Alex Anzalone. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. 65, now Carr. That's caught by his tight end, Foster Moreau. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 40. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. On play action, it's Carr. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. Throwing again. Carr. Ebron with it over the middle. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 28. Carr now 12 of 16 thus far. It's first and ten. Now a give right side. Warren. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. To the right side to Eric Ebron. An eligible receiver downfield. Offense. That's on the big guard, Gabe Jackson. Still second down. I got you, boy. I got you, boy. Mike's 56. Mike's 56. Following the penalty, it's Hill. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. To throw on third down. Carr going to throw deep for the end zone. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. The secondary has been roasted in this first half, but they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back, but that's one step in the proper direction. And Bailey able to knock it through. And that's going to tie us at 13. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. This will be fielded at the six. 
And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Off the bootleg, Herbert. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The Sorry, coach. Sorry, we get slap happy up here sometimes. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 43. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. It'll be a Saints first down on a pickup of 13. Looking to throw. Herbert got his man complete over the middle. That's Murray. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Foul, roughing the passer defense. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. So a critical mistake roughing the passer. Now it's first and goal. They'll run with Days. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the nine. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. Second and nine now. And brought in by the tight end, Cook. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. From the gun on third down, Herbert. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. Michael Thomas, his second touchdown on the season. And the Saints have taken the lead. And that touchdown gives them a touchdown lead before they attempt the extra point. What a great way to end the half. Yeah, great job to put themselves in front. And now, see on the sideline, special teams defense scrambling, saying we want to preserve this for the final moments of this second quarter. Lutz to try to add the PAT. And they will take a seven-point lead now. Makes the score a Saints 20. So that drive goes eight plays, and it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Fielded about a yard deep. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading on to the field again. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. And he will not get away from the pressure here. Carr taken down. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Gets this one to Hill. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Ebron caught left side. 
And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. On first down, Carr. And that is incomplete. 16 seconds now on the clock. Hill, the intended receiver once again, but it's going to be second down. Four down, four down, four down. Carr will try it again on second down. He's going to find and complete it to Renfro. And he gets it down to the 32. Roughing the passer, defense. So that one will be accepted. So even though it's first down, here's the field goal unit on now to try to get three before halftime. From the left hash, this from 34. Bailey's kick is good. And that'll bring him back within four. So yes, they'll still be down going into intermission, but the deficit is now made even smaller, very manageable. Yeah, and if nothing haywire happens here in his last couple of precious seconds, they will go into the locker room with a nice bounce in their step, having gotten a little bit closer on the scoreboard. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll make it across the 20, as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. Final play of the first half, barring a penalty, as they come up on first and 10. The final second ticks by, and that's going to do it for the first half of play. So we've reached halftime here in a four-point game. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a bit. But first, time for a trip around the league on this final weekend of September. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team has been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half? To find out, we give it back to our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Set now to go for the third quarter. The Saints have the lead and set to receive the kick. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Out comes the Raiders' offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a second and 11. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Working from the gun, it's Carr. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. That one will go as a gain of 11. Raiders having a first down as well. Sometimes the most effective routes are the ones that you run in the backyard. You probably ran them when you were five years old. How about a little curl there against zone? But the key to it is finding the open spots in the zone. How a linebacker or a defensive back will widen to give you space. Find that area and let your quarterback hit you. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. 56 to Mark, boys. 56. Check 56. From the gun now on third down, Carr. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity miss there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. So here are the Saints to take over. 
Last week they defeated the Broncos and they've got the lead here as well as they work with a first and 10. On first down, Herbert throwing middle, but it's incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Off play action, Herbert. And his pass incomplete. Big play coming up. Here's third and 10. I would expect to see some pressure here. There was the pressure you were talking about forcing the incompletion. And it doesn't always have to end in a sack, does it? Sometimes you can make a good play by forcing the incompletion with the pressure. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender is making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. 12 yards on the return that time, and the Raiders will take over now first and 10. They're on to the second half now down in Miami. The Chargers have just scored, so they've taken the lead in that ball game. And we'll keep an eye on that one as our game goes along here. Carr now on first down. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. Well, your QB's been sacked four times in the game already, and they're the holding goal. And you know darn well the offensive line coach is frustrated and upset that he's been hit that many times already. He doesn't really care that they hold now. Just don't let him get hit anymore. Call it a gain of 12, but of course not a first down due to the previous penalty. Looking to throw again on second down. Carr, short little throw to Ebron. No gain that time on the completion, and it'll be third down. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all, and now they're looking at third down here. Now Carr. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. A Raider first down, 17 yards. Carr now. Five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. Now a 10th carry for Hill. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. On second down and four, Carr. Open man is Hill, he's got it. And he'll be brought down at the 27-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Carl come up here with a first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. From the 22, Carr firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the eight. Third catch for him on this drive alone, and it'll give him a first down. Neutral zone fraction, defense. So five yards there is one of the big guys up front moved. And in a 4-3 front, you got the two defensive tackles right near the football. I know there's a lot of movement around there, but they're always taught to have one. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So reverse the celebration. We'll see if they have something else in their bag of tricks. And isn't that always tough to watch when they score and you see the excitement and then when they realize those points aren't going to count? Can they get it back together and find their way back to the end zone? Nice job there after the setback. 11 yards and now it's second and goal. They'll run it with Hill. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop him right around the one. They're knocking on the door as they come to the line here on third and goal from the one. Well, they hit him in the backfield, and he will not escape, and that is not going to get it done. Fourth down now after a loss of two. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out, but does this feel like old school football or what? Oh, right? yeah. This is an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it. 
And I want some type of a play where my quarterback has a chance to run it or throw it. I don't just want one static play. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. The Saints offense on the field, ready to get their drive started. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Looking to go back to Thomas again, and it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and 10. Back to throw. Herbert, he may try and run for this. Five yards that time out of the scramble, but now they're looking at a fourth down situation. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10 at their own 19-yard line. The throw here going to be complete to Gordon. 10 yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. So not quite a first down just yet as they come up on second and less than a yard. To throw, it's Carr. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Carr, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The sack by Robert Quinn. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks, and the speed and quickness of that defensive line is eating them alive. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Off the draw, here's Hill. Hill shedding the tackle, and he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. They'll try and run for it. Here's Hill. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. A nice first down pickup on a gain of six. Throwing on first down is Carr. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. To throw again. Carr, short little throw to Ebron. And he'll be down at the 46. Well, they go from 146 to the other on a pickup of eight. Carr looking to throw on third and two. And he hits his tight end, Ebron. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. This is Hill on the draw play. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Call it no gain on the dump off, and it's third down. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Throwing his car on third down. He's got a man open. It's Hunter Renfro. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 19. Carl come up here with a first and 10. And he's five for six now throwing the ball on this drive. Hill. 
And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. 56 on second down and four, Carr, the open man here, Renfro. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. And the question now, how do they want to work the clock here on first and goal? A field goal would give them the late lead. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Carr going to throw, and he'll take it into the end zone for a Raider touchdown. Hunter Renfro, his first touchdown on the year. And once again, the Raiders are back out in front. And now the Raiders will face an important two-point conversion attempt here. Now, Carr again. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Protection was great. He had time to set up a campsite. But in the secondary, though, they were ready. And I think that in most places on the field, if you have that much time to throw the ball, someone's going to shake free and you'll find an open receiver. But condensed go, near the Let's goal go. line on a two-point conversion, all that exit, you know, there's not any extra field. So it kind of closes in on them, and that allows you to cover a little bit better. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times the punter goes to the side and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the... And it's a fumble, and the Raiders pick it up. And he's got some space here. And they will finally bring this run back to an end, but not before he's down inside the five-yard line at the four. And whatever happened to the days of just getting a fumble recovery? Everyone's into taking it the other way and trying to create points themselves, aren't they? Well, they are, and now a terrific opportunity inside the five. So out come the Raiders. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. They'll try to pound it in with Hill. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. It's a loss of five there, bringing up second. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. On second and goal, Carr firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? To throw his car toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So decision time now, because a field goal keeps it a one-score game. What are you thinking? Well, I'm looking at the down and distance, and that's where the issue comes in. It's not short enough that it's a no-brainer and you go for it. You have to analyze this one. To me, you take the field goal, take the points. I don't think you want to risk coming away with nothing. So yet another field goal to end a drive. That has been a very common theme. He's now hit five of them in this game. Yeah, Brandon, as an offense, you hate that you've had to call on your kicker so often, but you have to love the fact that time and time again, he's come through. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. The Saints coming out now to take the field. And last time they coughed it up led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal and they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive? A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touch. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. 
Maurice Hurst breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. You never want to give up a sack. And from the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it, but it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Looking to go back to Thomas again, and that'll make it third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw. Herbert going with a screen for Murray. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. Now it looks like we've got a Raider here slow to get up. We'll take a break and get a report from Oakland after this. Here's Thomas Morstead now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. Taken in at the 22. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. And now Oakland ready to take the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. And once again, Hill, he's been busy. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. from just shy of midfield. Carr, and look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Jonathan Cyprian, and he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield stripe. Their passing game has been spectacular this afternoon. Finally, a win for the defense. You think maybe there was an adjustment there. Finally gained a measure of, I don't even know if you call it revenge, but got a play done against him, and that's been difficult for them all game long. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 10 yards, good for a Saints first down. Throwing on first down. Herbert, and this is Cook with a grab. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. Second and five. That'll be complete to Cook. And he'll go down at the 28. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. From the gun, Herbert. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked out and incomplete. Cameron Meredith, the intended target. But it'll be second down. Back to the air on second down. Herbert. This is caught. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Oh. 
First and goal, a touchdown and a two-point conversion here are musts. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Blitz coming and down he goes. Markel Lee gets him for a loss of 10 yards from his linebacker spot. Well, surprise, surprise. First and goal at the one. No quarterback sneak, no running play. They decide to throw for it, but the pressure got to him quickly and put the quarterback down. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Second and 11. This will be caught just inside the 10. And he's able to work it here to the eight yard line. Only three yards there on the completion. That'll lead to a third and goal. From the gun on third down. Herbert, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys, if they weren't playing football, they'd be starring in the NBA at power forward. It's a really difficult task. So an interesting call there to take the three. I mean, I guess they're thinking that their hands were tied, but, you know, fourth quarter, that field goal might not help them that much in the air. Yeah, eventually they're going to need the touchdown. The thinking must have been they didn't feel confident about picking it up there hoping maybe on defense they can get better field position, get a turnover, get a better play, and then they'll have a chance to attack the end zone. The Oakland offense about ready to start this next drive. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. On third down, Carr. Open man is Gordon complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Big hook up there, forced to throw it on third down. The connection's going to keep the drive alive and also keep the clock moving. Yeah, and from a defensive perspective, didn't get a sack, didn't knock the ball free, didn't break up the pass. The clock keeps running on you. You're in a dire situation now. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Josh Gordon, the intended receiver, and it's second down. On the counter, it's Hill. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. Let's go, let's go. So it's Raider football as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. They stick on the ground on first down with Hill. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. On the ground, this is Hill. And he is in. Touchdown, Raiders. A great play there with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Raiders able to extend that advantage. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. Bailey got the extra point, and it gives his guys a 12-point advantage. 
So that drive in total eight plays. And in the end, the finishing touch, an 11-yard run. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. This will be fielded at the six. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. So all eyes on the Saints offense. Down by 12. At time, a huge factor. Throwing to start the drive. Herbert. And his throw is going to be incomplete. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Throwing again. Herbert. Wide open receiver complete. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders' 45-yard line. Back to throw. Herbert. Thomas has got it. Complete. A gain of six there on first. Counting down toward a minute to go in this football game. And incomplete. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. Off the play fake. Herbert, now a desperation throw deep downfield. He dropped it. Couldn't hang on in the end zone. So no six points incomplete. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. They keep the game alive, at least for the moment, as it's a first down. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays that have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. Operating from the gun. Herbert, and it's caught. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. And this is caught. So it's a late touchdown, but maybe too late. Still a little time left on the clock, however. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed. But if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right. And if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. It doesn't you kinda, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> Lutz good on the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So the clock sits at 16 seconds as they line up for the onside kick. And it's the Raiders that'll come up with it. And that will put victory in sight for the silver and black. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. So this one, a victory for the Oakland Raiders. And it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises. Really, both sides did. But they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they really had to grind this one out, didn't they? Because nothing came easy. Every snap was a major league brawl. They had to win at the line of scrimmage, win downfield. They got all those things accomplished. But to win a close one like this, you know, every team wants to be physical. We've heard that a million times, right? But those who are mentally tough, those are the teams that you have to deal with in the playoffs. This was that type of a game. So for the Raiders, it'll be a 500 start as the win gets them back to 2-2. Two and two. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for New Orleans, they fall to defeat for the second time this season. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home.